Hello YouTube. Um, today is going to be my first gun video. Uh, been thinking about getting an AR-15 for a long time now. Uh, finally decided to go ahead and do it. Uh, been saving money for a while. Kind of went a little more expensive with it. Uh, all my accessories are still coming in, but wanted to sign in my red dot today. So I brought my AR out. So here we have my Diamondback DB15. It's uh, your normal semi automatic 223556 round. Uh, you know, just your adjustable stock came with it. Uh, uh, this red dot I actually bought for about 50 bucks. Uh, there's 10 different settings there's one red, brightness wise, one, two, three, four, five red, one, two, three, four, five green. And it's just your normal one-time zoom scope, you know, no magnification. The magazine is your standard 30-round magazine. And just like that, you got your Diamondback DB-15. I paid about $600 for the gun, $50 for the scope. Uh, I got a bipod and a, a different scope coming in. I actually bought this scope and started using it and... Uh, I mean, it's great for close range, maybe home defense, but uh, if I plan on using this gun to hunt uh, coyotes, maybe deer, uh, and then I take a trip to Mississippi uh, in December, and we hunt a lot of coyotes and armadillos and small game, uh, and down there everything's flat. So I knew I, I need something with more zoom so I got a three three times to ten times zoom scope coming in that I'm hoping to throw on this thing and get sided in uh, thought about maybe doing a canid red dot I don't know how goofy that looked maybe if I butt it up right on the other scope wouldn't look too bad but for now I'm just running the standing red and green dot sight and we're gonna do some shooting all right, so one of my targets is going to be this really, really old refrigerator. Uh, some thick shit, but I think that 223 is going to go straight through it. Doesn't look like it's been shot before. I got in here and broke it a long time ago, but uh, haven't really sighted this red dot in yet. So I'm going to try to hit, you know, this white plate and see where we go from there. All right, so I got, uh, we're about 25 yards away. Um, I'm going to be shooting at the fridge right there. And I like running the green dot. I don't know why. Just seems like during the day, for some reason, the green dot on this side works a little better. So I'm pop a couple off. We'll see how it's shooting. Sided it in a little bit yesterday, but I don't think it's perfect yet. Alright, let's go take a look. Alright, so walking over here, I can tell. One, two, three. Not not too shabby. Probably be able to kill a deer. Maybe not a armadillo at 25 yards, but with the red dot I'm I'm alright with that. And just like I guessed. One, two, three. That one went through. Went through the back. It's, it stinks. And it sounds like. Sounds like I hit something that's leaking. But it's not water. I can smell it. It kind of smells like gas. I don't know what, what would be in there. But uh, if you're wondering, this this uh, house used to be, you know, just a, a deer deer cabin for our family, and uh, over the years it just started falling apart. We got about two thousand acres, so nobody's probably even hearing me shoot right now. But uh, yeah, I'll set up some jars, maybe step it up to about twenty yards. Uh, 
I mean, I didn't think it was going to be that tough hitting that plate uh, 25 yards with that red dot, but definitely glad I got that other scope coming in. Uh, yeah, set up some jars. We'll shoot those. All right, I got five jars set up. Um, about 15 yards away. See if we can hit five for five. If not, I'm just going to finish them off. So, here we go. And we got a misfire. Alright, so obviously I need to start shooting this thing more. Uh, <laughs> not very accurate. Uh, but man, I love shooting this thing. And I know all of you are probably saying, oh, where's your hearing protection? Well, the five of you that'll watch this. But uh, honestly, shooting this thing, I barely hear anything coming back at me. Uh, my buddy's ARs that I shot, their muzzles were kind of, I guess it kind of pulled the gun away from you whenever you shot the the gas would shoot back in your face and you'd feel kind of like a hot burst and I didn't like that so the muzzle on here uh, it's just a flash hider and all the gas is shooting in a ring in the top and pushing my muzzle down so really it's really not bad shooting this thing with no ears uh, if I keep getting yelled at or something I'll throw some ears on but uh yeah you'll probably be seeing this thing a lot uh, i love shooting it so probably make a lot more videos on it uh, thanks for watching enjoy <laughs>